Hey guys, now I could not go home today without making this very quick little video about Cardano and other sorts of cryptocurrencies which are trying to compete now against Ethereum. So I believe this is really important wherever you are in your crypto journey that you really need to know and understand what's going on with some of these so-called Ethereum killers. So if we just jump over onto CoinMarketCap right now, we can see, obviously, number one, we've got Bitcoin, Ethereum's number two. This is the one that everybody wants to be able to uh, destroy here, is this one. And uh, they all want to compete with Ethereum because Ethereum is really the market leader for dApps, distributed applications, different tokens running on the Ethereum blockchain. These want to be able to take control. Polkadot, this is one which there's been lots and lots of talk about lately and the price has been soaring and it's a great technology. We'll talk a bit more about that in just a minute. Cardano, that's the big one because this month in February, there has been some rumors, rumors spread by the man himself, Charles Hoskinson, I believe his name is, uh, been saying that there's a good likelihood that they're now going to be introducing distributed applications similar to what they have on Ethereum on Cardano very, very soon. And Cardano is already number six and it's number six in coin market cap it has a uh, market valuation here of 15 billion dollars and it doesn't even have dApps right now actually right now the only thing that you can do with cardano its only sole use case is to put your cardano from the exchange where you bought them over into the cardano wallet once in the wallet, they can sit there quite safely until the time comes when you decide that you want to take those Cardano over to the exchange and sell them again, hopefully at a profit. Right now, I'm sorry to say it, but that is Cardano's use case and that is pretty much all that you can do with a Cardano token. But hey, this is crypto. And that doesn't stop it having uh, sixth place here in coin market cap and a valuation of $15 billion. And pretty much the same could be said with Polkadot, although that does have and allow different tokens to run on their blockchain via parachains. So they're like blockchains that run alongside Polkadot. It's pretty cool. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, we've got Chainlink, obviously that's an Ethereum token coming down. Uh, we also have Stellar Lumens. Now Stellar Lumens, you can have different dApps applications running on Stellar Lumens, but maybe falling out of favor a little bit. So you don't really see that many uh, developers wanting to develop on Stellar Lumens these days. And uh, we scroll down, we've got EOS. So I believe this one is the real gem. We'll talk about that in a minute. I do really like EOS. Tezos as well is also an option. And what I'm looking for here is Atom. So Atom is a really big coin as well. I think we're going to be seeing that going up. This month in February is not all about Cardano. Cardano right now is sky high. You don't need to be getting in at the top on Cardano because as that goes up, all the other similar coins, which are sort of in the same industry as Cardano, i.e. the sort of dApps, they're all going to get carried on up along with it. So don't worry too much if you've missed out on Cardano. Just try and get in on some of these other coins instead. And as you can see right now, we have Ethereum absolutely sky high. So here's my envelope. As I said in the video, the previous one, I think this green line under here is generally where I like to be buying different coins. That's why it's green, green for buy. And up here in the red is sort of the alert sign, which says, hey, you might want to be selling some off right now. And you can see it normally does sort of bounce between uh, the bottom around this sort of green area, comes up to the top, comes back down again. It's always bouncing in and around that type of zone. So you can see sometimes it does go all the way up, comes back down here and then up and down. You get the picture, right? So right now, Ethereum is all the way up here. And I did say in the last video that if it comes down, it hits this as it did and then it bounces off, that that's kind of like a good sign that it's quite strong and it's, uh, it's come out the wrong end of this ascending wedge probably a good time to me maybe thinking about buying some Ethereum. However, let's face it, it is crazy high. I don't really like to be buying coins when they're this high. So I'm really looking for other coins. Now, other coins 
in the same sort of DAPS platform. Obviously Cardano, that's gonna have a huge month this month because there's so much speculation. And when I say speculation, I mean speculation, okay, around the fact that it may, might do, be launching their DAPS platform sometime this month. Now, obviously that is not confirmed, it's not guaranteed, um, it's just a maybe, but that is no reason why it's not gonna pump up like crazy, okay? And right now, it's well above that red line, not somewhere that I feel comfortable buying it. So in that case, I'm looking, and as, as I say, I really prefer to buy on the dips. So as it comes down here, you can see this is where generally I'd be looking to get in somewhere like that, somewhere like that. Where it is right now, that is not somewhere I wanna be buying Cardano, although it probably will go up anyway. And Dot right now is a great one. Dot is Polkadot. And this also will be going up, but that's already gone up quite a lot already. So I'm not too keen about that. Atom is the other one. Very, very good. You can see that is soaring up now. Here we have Tezos, another really good option that you might want to be checking out because this one hasn't yet actually broken out to the top side and isn't soaring off like crazy just yet. At least we're still inside the envelope, although a little bit high. But for me, EOS, EOS is the hidden gem. And let me just show you why that is. So right here, we've got Polkadot. It has a almost $19 billion market cap right now. $19 billion. Cardano, over $15.5 billion market cap. Okay, and then we scroll down here to EOS. And EOS currently has a free billion dollars. So the difference, I believe, let's just work it out nice and quick. So what was that? I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it was about $18 billion for um, for Polkadot. Or six. Six should be the answer. So basically, if EOS was to go where these other two, like Cardano and Polkadot, are right now, then you're looking at a sex uh, sex six times increase on the price where it is right now. And I think that is very, very easy to do. Mostly because like I said earlier on, Cardano, you can't really do much with it right now, except for store your Cardanos in a wallet. Polkadot on the other hand, is live. So with Polkadot, we can actually build some stuff on there. Unfortunately, you know, if you do want to build stuff on there, they do have their own uh, thing called Substrate. So you can't just like go in with some JavaScript or, you know, something nice and easy like Python, for instance, and build a blockchain. You have to use their Substrate framework or you would be using Rust. And Rust, as you see here, is a programming language. So there are quite a few people out there that will already be able to just jump in and build platforms on uh, Polkadot because it's using something which has already been out for quite a few years now already. And quite a lot of people know all about programming in Rust. Lots of stuff on there. Also WebAssembly is the, the sort of core of their runtime, but anyway, you. You don't need to know that, do you? So basically, it's good. Unlike Ethereum, which has built everything on their own unique coding language called Solidity, Polkadot have actually had the common sense to use a standard normal coding language, which quite a few people already know. Now, Cardano has done something similar. Uh, they've created some sort of engine which will translate a normal code like C++ into the, the coding language for their own blockchain. You know, a little bit like Solidity. So they've created their own thing. With some of these others, they're even better because Rust isn't a language that an awful lot of people know. Cosmos over here, also known as Atom. Uh, Cosmos, you can develop in Go, which is Golang. It was created by Google and a ton of developers already know Go. So Atom, really, really strong project and already up and running, already a great website, already fantastic. In fact, if we take a look at in their ecosystem over here, so this is their Explore the Cosmos network. This is all the sort of coins already running on Atom and there are a lot already run on an atom. One of those is Binance Chain. This is the Binance Chain DEX and the Binance Chain Finance, 
already running on Atom. There's a lot of really big companies already working with Atom. It is a huge coin. I don't know why it is that we see Atom all the way down here in 27th place on coin market cap. And it's only got like 2 billion, so just over $2 billion market cap for Atom. When you've got the likes of Cardano all the way up here, which basically does nothing right now, and Polkadot, which although, you know, it is available, it is pretty rough, you know? I mean, as I say, if you do want to build on that, it's uh, it's pretty tough going. I believe you've got to click here somewhere, get started. Um, basically, I've been trying to learn some of these or at least pick one so that we can use it in our own project, which I'll just talk about just in a second. But yeah, there's not an awful lot in here. The docs are pretty sketchy. If you actually want to create a wallet, in Polkadot, it's extremely difficult. In fact, I can't even remember exactly where the wallet would be. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't find that wallet anywhere. That's one of the things that, you know, if you're dealing with something else, um, it's a lot easier to find on here. The main site, there's no link to the wallet. At least on Cardano and things like Cosmos, it's a lot easier to find the wallet. Now, when we come over to this one here, EOS, EOS is amazing. I cannot believe it isn't bigger and there's not more people using it. It's Yes, it has some problems, it does, but if you're a developer and you wanna start developing on the blockchain, creating your own blockchain solutions, compared to something like Ethereum and EOS, and obviously you can't do anything at all with Cardano right now, this has an amazing uh, learning community, different stuff, webinars, training, certification, different things you can sign up for, and loads and loads and loads of stuff for developers. They've even got this here called Elemental Battles, which is absolutely awesome way to learn how to uh, get started, uh, basically by making a game. And even if you've got no coding experience at all, you can just use this to sort of go through the chapters and start building the game using EOS, using the uh, platform. It is very, very good. These guys have got amazing backup to help developers get into the sort of blockchain ecosystem and start building stuff on the EOS uh, platform here. Just so much cool stuff if you're a developer. And compare that with Polkadot, which has only been out about six months, so not very long at all. And it really doesn't have anything other than these docs here that you have to read through. And, um, you know, if you don't understand something or it doesn't quite make a lot of sense, uh, there's not an awful lot you can do about it because this is all that there is. However, it does have a huge um, market cap. Oh, there you go, $19 billion now. So it's going up as we speak. Uh, currently number five. It was number four like a week or so ago. Uh, it is just insane. So one of the things that we've been wanting to work on for a very long time is a decentralized trading bot. As you're probably already aware, we have quite a few signals running on our website that we've been working on and developing and upgrading and backtesting over and over again over the last few years, trying to get like the best possible trading strategy that we can. And we've got to a place, really, really happy with that. We want to create that into like a trading bot now. And like everything that I do here on Mutru Ninja, I really do it not just for me, but you know, like for the whole community, for the whole Mutru Ninja community, so that you can all sort of share in the success. And as I build new tools to help my own trading strategies, the stuff that I use myself day to day, you all can sort of jump in and start using it as well. So this is why we created all of this stuff. If you want to know more about what we do here, you can just go over to the website and there's a video there, probably in a link down below this video to explain all about it. But what we're looking to do is basically automate all of the trades that we're supposed to be doing every four hours. Because even though on paper, we'd be making lots of money if we could actually really trade every four hours, it's very hard to do in reality. So a trading bot is really pretty essential. Now, the thing that I do not want is to be holding other people's Binance keys or to have 
give my Binance keys to some other third party or anything like that. I'm just really not very comfortable with that type of thing at all. So we were looking and have been looking for some time to build some sort of decentralized platform that we could do that. I had been planning and working on something with masternode type technology. So using like Ccoin or Pivx forks and being able to sort of try and integrate into a, into a wallet like that. But it's very complex and very hard and it's going to be very difficult for people like yourselves to try and actually uh, create and, and put that into practice. So we want to make something a lot easier. What I've done over on our Facebook group is just put this little uh, poll out there just to see what you guys would like us to be developing it on. So as it says, if you were... Um, if we were to build a decentralized trading bot system, which blockchain would you prefer us to use? So if you are part of the Mutual Ninja community and you know you have an idea of what you would like, please do get on. I've literally just put up that this before doing this video. We've already got a few people on here already. Ethereum is winning right now, but there's literally like just a handful of people voted on it so far. Um, and I don't think it's all about just like for me, I put EOS because as a developer, I find that the most easiest and the most support and everything which is there with EOS and it seems very easy to do. Um, Polkadot, however, if you were to do it on something like Polkadot, which is doable, we could do that. I think just the general hype around Polkadot right now, we'd probably see it be very, very successful. So that would be a good reason to use Polkadot instead. Or we could wait out and see what Cardano brings to the table. However, we don't really know whether or not it's actually going to be usable for what it is that we want to use it for right now because we don't really know. It's a completely unknown. It's pure speculation with Cardano. Or Ethereum could also be an option. So please, as I say, if you are part of the Mutual Ninja community, do hit the link down below in the description. Go over there to the Facebook group and take part in that poll and let me know what you think because I don't want to just go off and do something and, and it's something that nobody wants, obviously. If I'm going to spend all this time and effort actually developing this, I do want it to be something that people actually want to use. So anyway, that is it for this week's video. Do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you have any other good ideas, things that we could build into the website, please also share that as well. Anyway, that's it for now. I've got to get off and get some toast. I shall see you all later in the next video.